Hey guys, Clay Guy here coming in with a video of how do I get better at Call of Duty. I got like three comments on one of my videos saying, or three comments total on one of my videos saying, how do you get better at COD? How did you get so good at blah, 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 blah. So I've got a list of like about 10. I didn't do like top 10 ways to get better at Call of Duty. I'm not about that. I'm just going to give y'all my tips that I could think of over like a three day period. So. My number one is find your sensitivity. I say this only because people are trying to say, oh yeah, I'm so good, I play on 20 sensitivity, but then they can't even control their gun. Like, it makes no sense. Me, I play on like five sensitivity. I used to play on seven. I dropped it to five because I started running AR on eSports, and now I just absolutely cream. Like, this game right here, I was on five sensitivity. I, I didn't have any problem turning on anybody. I had just enough speed to, like, turn on people I could I could aim a lot better than I used to look at that cross map look at perfect timing cross map and why not jump into that go for gunfights your gun isn't capable it isn't capable of doing because if you can get used to let's say a medium gunfight like if you're oh shit no nope. I didn't even realize I knifed that dude and no I'm not live by the way like right there I just got another one find your gun oh yep I'm just gonna totally ignore this game but Find a gunfight that you're not used to getting into and get into it. Like, look, I, that second guy, I picked him off so fast because I've, I've, I've gotten used to this long range vector. You know, it's like, leave your comfort zone. It is the easiest way to get better. Leave your comfort zone, try new things. Figure out what you're good at, figure out what you're not good at. This is the only Call of Duty. It's not like you're playing for money. And, uh... Another way is do not be like a hero. Just play for the win, play for your kill. Don't try to get like a triple kill cam just to get a triple kill cam. It's not like you're getting paid a million dollars just to get that triple kill cam. It does not matter. But my one of my biggest reasons is play with like a group of friends that want the same thing as you, wanna just play, have fun, whatever. Or if they wanna actually like play to get better and actually try to do something with Call of Duty and actually learn like routes to run and what people do as strategies and all that that's where I'm kind of sitting at right now with Call of Duty but basically play with friends with the same idea or the same common goal of what they want to get out of Call of Duty or gaming or because gaming has been growing so much in the past couple years to the point where I'm not I'm not overweight, I'm not fat, I'm not anything like that. I'm in perfect shape. I just play Call of Duty a lot. Instead of playing basketball, I play Call of Duty. Instead of playing football, I play Call of Duty. Instead of playing soccer, I play Call of Duty. I don't care, I'm in good shape. Do whatever you want. If you don't believe me, you're probably going to comment on this video hating with your default profile picture. You're probably fat as a rock, but no problem. Whatever, who cares? But, uh... Another one is stay in lobbies with people that are better than you or equal skill. Don't just go for your high KD, 2.8 KD because you're spawn trapping, domination, or whatever. It's no fun. Like, I could hold a 3 KD if I wanted to, but I feel like actually playing and when you get 3 KDs, people back out on you because they don't want to play a 3 KD because they know you're going to spawn trap. A good KD for me, I know I'm kind of optimistic, but a good KD for me is like a... I've been a 1.6 throughout most of my Call of Duty since MW3, uh, but in Advanced Warfare, I'm going to go for like a 1.8, 1 1.9, maybe 2, but I'm not really that worried about it. I'd rather have like a 9 win loss than a 9 KD because win loss is more important to me. But a uh, couple, couple more... Do not get mad at Call of Duty, like, right here, we just get absolutely annihilated the last, like, two minutes. It's just crazy, we're just getting spawn trapped like nothing. It's just absolutely horrible, I do not like it, but I didn't get mad once.
your enemies. Do not get in. Common goal in Call of Duty is to get kills, right? So don't put yourself where you can get killed because if you're getting killed, you're not killing. Common sense, guys. Past the third grade and you might get that logic, but... Anyways, just do not flank. Don't, don't be stupid. And last but not least, or no, I got two more. Two more. I just thought of one right out of my head. Check your mini map. Don't just sprint around with your head cut off. You need to be able to evaluate a situation as fast as possible. That's what all Call of Duty is. That's what Call of Duty is about. Taking the slightest of detail and making it work to win the game. So just check your mini map. Use all the information sorry I almost stuttered use the information that has been given to you a mini map that's information that's very valuable information uh, but last but not least this is my number one tip play as much as possible the more practice makes perfect I know people say practice makes perfect it does I guess but the real the real logic is what I learned perfect practice makes perfect you know like, it makes sense perfect practice makes perfect I don't know how else to explain it but pretty much just don't take a three-day break from Call of Duty because you're gonna come back and your aims gonna be off and then you're gonna be like oh my god I suck at Call of Duty and then you're gonna get mad and you're not gonna want to play Call of Duty and then blah, 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 blah. biggest breaks I normally take are over the weekend unless if I go somewhere like on vacation but I get used to it. I don't. I don't get necessarily mad at Call of Duty anymore, unless if my team is being an idiot, not trying to win it, not trying to win or just kill Horner. All right, I'm gonna go totally off topic, but my number one pet peeve in this game is, let's say you're playing Domination, and there's a guy that's going 38 and six, zero cap. Biggest pet peeve I've ever had. Just like, and then when I'm running a four-man party of everyone playing the objective and trying to get like a chem strike or maybe their helo, we're playing the objective while getting their helo. While the other dude's just sitting in the spawn taking advantage of the team he's on. He doesn't give a crap about his win-loss. And he just takes advantage of the teammates they have. Even if they suck, he's not going to try to cap because, oh, I don't care about my win-loss. KD's always work. So they're going to be the ones with a 2.5 KD and a, like, say a point six win loss, if they're lucky. Point five. I guess it matters how good of a slayer they are. But other than that, do not forget, I am at, like, 110 subscribers score. now. Make sure you're commenting any questions you have. And if you want to go check my Twitter out, I have not put a profile picture or anything, but it is the same as my YouTube. You can put questions there. I have my phone on 24-7. So if you send me like a tweet or I'm I'm new to Twitter. I don't really do social networking, but Clay God GMR, send me messages of what you want to see or any questions you have, or maybe something to make a video about. I don't care. Do your thing. But uh, basically just comment questions, maybe even tweet me questions. Sure, that'll work. But uh, in case if anyone didn't notice, this is Blitz on Spray. I probably should have said that right in the beginning of the game, but. Anyways, you guys can enjoy the gameplay. I will see you guys later. Well, no, you know what? Look at the comeback I'm doing. If you weren't paying attention to the gameplay, rewind the video a little ways and pay attention to this comeback. We just went on an absolute tear right at the end. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later. Until next time. See you guys later. Bring it up. We can't afford to lose. Go squad scored. Hostile infiltrated. Defend our position. Team member infiltrated. No squad scored. Enemy team scored. Time's almost up. Hostile made it through.